Boom shakalaka, exactly one year since Bitcoin bottomed at $3,900. It's already 15X this year, and we have some insanely bullish buy signals flashing today. You'll definitely want to stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're talking about, hey, it's a year anniversary. Was that called Black Tuesday when uh, Bitcoin just crashed phenomenally to $3,900? A year anniversary of that. Not only that, but some insane buy signals for Bitcoin, even at next to all-time highs. Still a buy. That's something that I normally don't say. Normally, I say all-time high. Do not buy. Apparently, right now with Bitcoin, all-time high, do buy. Now, we're going to get into all of that. Before we do, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Also, come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love for some exclusive giveaways. Now, we already talked about this a year ago. Can you believe it? From $3,900 to almost $60,000. 15x in one year. Bitcoin. Who would have thought? I mean, I knew it was coming, but who would have thought it was going to happen that quickly? Now, if we take a look at what Bitcoin's been doing recently, these are the four hour candles. We broke out of this wedge here and basically Bitcoin's now sitting above the 21 day moving average, butting up right against previous all time highs right around fifty nine thousand dollars could potentially be moving up because right now Bitcoin's sitting in the upper bounds of this bullish megaphone. Mostly because of this week, uh, four hour MA 200, this orange line right here that's riding the bottom of it. Bitcoin hasn't really broken below there for much time at all. Now, likely the nearest target we're headed for right around seventy, seventy-five thousand dollars. I mean, I had a Bitcoin prophecy like a year ago that it was going to hit seventy thousand dollars, but who knows? We might have two hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars this year. Now. Buy signals galore. Forget buying the dip. MicroStrategy buys 15 million more of Bitcoin as it nears all time highs. That's right. He bought it at an average price of $57,146. Michael Saylor is still buying Bitcoin way up here. Now, on average, that brings his holdings to about 91,326 Bitcoin at an average price of 24,214 a piece. Now, who wouldn't take that? I mean, buy a Bitcoin for 24,000, sell it for 60,000. That's like tripling your money. But if we take a look, he is still buying right now. But he's not the only one. As a matter of fact, Bitcoin whales bought more during the dip as orders for 100,000 or more hit all-time highs. If we take a look at this graph right down here, okay? I'll explain it for you. I'll try and get it out of my head. But this area, you can see this purple and this brown. These are orders greater than 100,000. So this is greater than 100,000 to a million and greater than a million to 10 million. And as we can see here, right behind my head, the brown and the purple are near all time highs. The institutions are buying in. Not only large institutions, but also smaller institutions like this Philly t-shirt company allocating a million dollars of its cash reserves to Bitcoin and ETH. People are losing faith in fiat currencies because of all the printing, like $1.9 trillion of stimulus packages just being printed. And instead, companies are putting their reserves into Bitcoin and ETH, and that's going to send the price intergalactically. This is Rush Order T's who put a million dollars into crypto. Now, Let's take a look at what my favorite analyst is saying. Willie Wu is saying 35% of the available Bitcoin supply was bought in the last three months. That's right. A third of the available supply was bought in the last three months. 5% of that supply was bought at prices above a trillion dollar market cap. He goes on to say that if we take a look at things, it's still not overextended. We are still in a very healthy market. Uh, this isn't actually him. This is Jan and Yen, Negan Tropic. But they say that what defines a healthy rise in Bitcoin's price? One that's backed by on-chain volume. When the price increases too fast without allowing blockchain activity to catch up, it's often often not sustainable. But Willy Woo's NVT is a classic and it still looks beautiful. As you can see here, basically as the price and all as the on-chain volume follows this green trend line, we are still not overextended. It got a little overextended back here in January but for the most part, we are still well below it right now. Furthermore, Bitcoin 
Although it's once again near all-time highs, there's solid on-chain support below here. So despite the price being at all-time highs and despite Michael Saylor buying it at $57,000, probably mostly because he's buying at $57,000, we have very solid on-chain support. This is showing how many coins are bought at each price level. And as we can see here, big spike here around $55,000. Big spike here around forty-six. dollars $47,000. Medium sized spikes around $35,000. So a lot of buying going on in this area here. Very shocking. But institutions are coming in and we can see how they all bought the dip. As the price came down, you can see the price topped out here. Price started coming down. Look at all this red buying action. It shows coins moving to hodlers with very little history of selling. Now, guys, as we can see here on the Bitcoin rainbow chart, this is something that I just like to follow because it gives me a good idea where we are in the overall scheme of things of the cycle. We're still right now in is this a bubble territory, meaning like uh, NFTs, uh, this stuff's crazy, uh, is this a bubble? We're getting, we're right now very much approaching FOMO intensifies before we get into sell and maximum bubble territory. So keep an eye on this. This is a great way to know where we are in the cycle. If you want to know, compared with the last cycle, where this is, this is right around October, the end of October of 2017, around the same territory that we are right now. Now, I should point out that there is a lot of FOMO going on. Like somebody just bought an NFT for $100,000. It was a legendary NFT. And then they refused to sell it for a million dollars. Okay, good luck getting that offer again. But, well, it, this should be known that, like I said, we are nearing bubble territory. We're edging up to it. And based on this chart right here, adoption curves, Bitcoin on-chain users are growing at insane rates, same as the final weeks of the 2017 bull run. Bitcoin is going mainstream, crazier. Most of the user growth is not seen here. It's seen on exchanges because the majority of users never use the blockchain. So as we can see here, this user is visible on blockchain. This is going up. You see that little curve right there? A change in the change. All right. Well, the same thing happened back here in the beginning of 2017 and back here towards the end. So obviously this cycle is going to be amplified from previous cycles, but we're starting to see the adoption curve spiking upwards, potentially signaling the end. However, you guys know I like to leave you with a little happy ending. So this would be my happy ending for you. 46.8 million millionaires in the world. Only ever going to be 21 million Bitcoin and 17.2 million that aren't already lost. That's easy math. I'd rather have the 21 million or 21 Bitcoin than a million dollars. Uh, he was responding to documenting Bitcoin who said owning 21 Bitcoin now makes you a millionaire. However, I think it was changed to like 17 Bitcoin or something like that. So rather have that 17 Bitcoin than a million dollars, especially with how fast they're printing it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did like, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. I'll catch you later. Peace.